All right, people, lots going on this morning. This guy right here, look at this, my laptop. This thing is bit, I dropped this laptop. Wait, it's not even turning on. It, there, there you go, what's that? That's not good, that's not good. So you see this corner right here? Look at that. That's because from upstairs, I was carrying it while I was playing online. I'll walk in on the treadmill and I walked down, this is like a year ago or more, and it just smashed all the way to the ground, but somehow survived. So we don't have a laptop. And I need a laptop to do my hockey stuff, hockey scores. So it's 1.30. My original plan was to head down there for like uh, level three of the PLO. But then I forgot or didn't forget. But I, I knew then I was like, oh, no, there was a thing I was supposed to do with Vince Vaughn today. Love Vince Vaughn. My wife loves Vince Vaughn. Huge Vince Vaughn fans, from swingers to old school to wedding crashers. You motorboat and son of a bitch, you old sailor, you. You name it, all his sh I watch everything. I watch The Breakup, I watch it all. Love his vibe, him and John Favreau. I met John Favreau years ago when he did a show, but I've never really met Vince, and I'm, so I'm looking forward to that. And I believe he's down there now, probably playing the Bounty Tournament, the, the, the Hall of Fame Bounty Tournament. So now I'm like, I didn't have that on the agenda at all, but I am a Hall of Famer and I would be a bounty, and maybe it'll be fun. Okay, so just thinking out loud, what am I gonna do? All right, so head down. The way that the bounty thing works is, because I'm a Hall of Famer, I get the five seat, which is nice, in the middle, and then if someone knocks me out, they will win. How much money did they win? They'll win, I don't remember what year I was inducted, but they win whatever year you were inducted to the Hall of Fame. That's the amount of money they get, so 2,000 something. I don't even know, dude, that's crazy. All right, so the plan is, we'll go in there, have some fun with that. I'll see if I can have a chance to meet uh, Mr. Vaughn. And uh, he's the new, uh, basically, master of ceremonies for the World Series of Poker, which was announced to the next one. Hey, hey, let's go. We'll be in the old time slot, late May, all of June and through mid-July. So like, this is gonna be different. A very short off season before we start all over again. And you know, I'm hoping for uh, better luck <laughs> in the next one. At least I won't have to wait too long, but there's still time ahead, okay? So we're gonna play that today. I looked at the structure for the $250,000 buy-in, and this is interesting. Okay, so normally in a no-limit tournament with like weak players, you definitely want to be there on time. Um, but with the 250K, there, it's actually really, really deep. You could jump into day two of that with 50 big blinds, which is a lot, a lot more than I would have expected. So that could be an option. Um, you know, I, there's no real rush to play that right on time, and I don't think many people will, but we'll see. So, all right, let's just, let's have some fun. Let's head down there and get involved in the shenanigans. All right, talk about a curveball today, right? I mean, I was, I'm, and it really, really this all started because my laptop didn't work. Because I was looking at a day, relaxed, you know, go to PLO a little bit later. But I mean, without a laptop doing my hockey stuff, then I got the, you know, the calls and stuff about the whole thing with Vince. I'm like, oh man. So I originally thought it was gonna be like two o'clock, I don't know, and then it was actually at one o'clock. So there's like a sit and go they're doing kind of a promo thing with him. And then I believe he's gonna play the um, Hall of Fame Bounty Tournament. I don't know if I did a good job explaining what that is over well, there. Basically, the buy-in is $1,979. Ha ha, because you know, 1979 or whatever. And then each table will have, well not each table, but some tables will have a Hall of Famer at their table. If you knock out that player, you get back a bounty based on the year they were inducted, okay? So anyway, like I said, I was not planning on playing that, but now that I think about it, you know, why not? Why not play it? It's uh, started at 11. It is now two almost. So I'll get there for 2.15. I'm gonna go directly to the thing going on with Vince Vaughn and about him too. So I just don't really fanboy that much, like hardly ever. Like my most famous friend that I call a is Phil Kessel, okay? Which is not that famous. You guys probably don't even know who he is. He's the hockey player guy. But I don't like hang out with celebs. I'm not that guy or whatever, but like really, really like Vince Vaughn. So I, I'm hoping that he's cool as I would expect, you know? I think he will be. Baby, you are so money and you don't even know it. Like I said, I I, uh, I did a show with John Favreau back in the day when WPT did the Hollywood home game and he was cool. So hopefully he's cool and you know, 
it's just it's cool to have him at the World Series of Poker. And like I said, I just love his vibe. I love all the movies he's been in. I've watched them all. So yeah, that could, that that should be fun. I mean, let's have some fun here at the World Series of Poker. That's what it's all about in the end, isn't it? Right? Sometimes we don't have fun. You remember last night? <laughs> and today's a new day. Smiles are back. Let's go. Here we are, we made it into the Thunderdome, of course, under the lights, Mr. Vince Vaughn talking to Tiffany. Did he win? Did he win the thing? No, it was Juan, I believe, Juan. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're doing a thing. The people are here, the cameras, the lights, gonna chill with the... Vince, he knows hockey. Vince knows his hockey. He's talking Blackhawks, talking Panarin, talking K. And that's super cool, because you know me, I know my hockey. Yeah, very fun. Great, so I guess I'm standing by. He's doing a thing right now for ESPN. I don't know if it's live. It feels like it might be live with Trey Radio or whatever. And then I guess I'm gonna jump in and pretend it's all casual, you know, the magic of television. That's what we're doing. <laughs> all right, we are here in the bounty tournament over there, all the cameras, that's where Vince is at. And then of course, you got the godfather right here, Mr. Doyle Brunson, <laughs> grinding all these tournaments, showing these whippersnappers a thing or two. <laughs> yeah. In a pot. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. All right. Commotion here at the World Series of Poker. All right. Bit of a hectic day so far, but it's been fun. I've only been, I just sat down to 10 minutes and then we're going on break right away. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, I spent the last hour or whatever in the green room shooting the shit with uh, Vince and, and, the, and the boys. Really love that guy. He's awesome. He's, you know, like, remember on the drive in, I was like, oh, I hope he's a cool dude. Way cooler. How you doing? Way cooler than I would have ever expected. So that's awesome. And he, he's playing. He's playing in the uh, Hall of Fame Bounty Tournament. And I, he's got a 10K bounty on him. So I told him, I said, bro, uh, yeah, don't bluff. Because for 10K, people are going to play any two against you. So we're going to play that. Do what we're actually going to try. I wasn't sure what I was doing. We're gonna we're gonna play it straight, as they say. Tasty, tasty Sakara meal on that break. The 11 a.m.s have 20 minute breaks, which is kind of a luxury. Normally, I play those 15s. We're headed on back now. I just wanted to say a couple more things. So, I like I said, there's a whole bunch. I just been I did some stuff with Vince, hung out with him. One thing you didn't see is a whole bunch of footage, because I'm not, I don't know, I'm not that guy, you know. I don't like to bother people like that. You know, he's big time, whatever. It's cool as hell, like I said. But I don't want to be like, hey, sticking my phone in his face and, you know, and whatnot. I don't know. It feels like, I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? It's just not who I am. So anyway, to make a long story short, <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He's cool, super cool. Um, I didn't realize uh, we had that hockey thing in common as much as we do. And uh, yeah, so we're going to play some poker, play this bounty thing. I don't know. I had some. I swear, I had other things to say. Say hi to the people. Hi, hi look at that. You're in the vlog now. It's Robin Geraldine. It's Robin Geraldine. Woo! All right. Famous now. <laughs> That's what I was gonna tell you. Back to starting up, everybody. Curious. I'm more. Is this your first time at the World Series? Yeah. How are you enjoying the experience so far? Fantastic. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Yes. Yeah. So have you ever played poker before? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you get two cards down. Three come in the middle. I'll explain it to you if you need help. Okay. Okay. It's like me, please. Huh? It's like me. Please. I will do it for you. <laughs> All right. So a recurring theme has been I open this gentleman that I'm calling the bounty chaser that's his name three bets me every time now in fairness last time he had kings so he was legit and you know here's the deal I have 20 big lines so I'm gonna put mine in he's gonna call and you have a pair no. I do I've got a pair so we have a flip good luck fair fight for this bounty on the line $2014 oh my god I'm winning it's not over yet Ha! It is now! Oh, man. 
Bad luck. You lost a flip to me. That's fucking. Woo. <laughs> There's not a lot to say. Sorry about that. All right, we are all in for that. And we've got vultures. We've got one vulture, vulture B, vulture C, and then vulture D. We haven't, they haven't decided yet. That's what, that's what we're in for. And this is the hand. All right, off to the river we go. There's betting between these two players. Four-way action, that is your board. And this gentleman's betting. Well, that's gonna be a problem. I mean, it was already a problem. We got eights full. We got ace eight. All right, we get last place. Okay, good luck, everybody. Bounty for you. Oh, thank there you, you go. Two thousand fourteen dollars. Tell them where you got it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so the story from the bounty tournament was. <laughs> oh, so okay, well, I bluffed a lot, and they called, <laughs> but I wasn't bluffing in spots where, like, they could bust me because you know. When people are chasing bounties, they're chasing, they're chasing you when they can bust you. If they can't bust you, then they have to play against you as normal, you know? So, one hand I played. I actually like this bluff. Let's do a hand breakdown while we walk. Lines are four and 800, okay? 800 dead. Player in the mid middle position makes a 2K. I call him the cutoff of King Jack of Diamonds. Now the flop comes, Queen of Clubs. Seven of clubs, deuce of diamonds. He bets just 2,000. So this is always gonna be appeal with king, queen, jack, three backdoor diamonds. Turn is the five of clubs. He checks. Now, I mean, I don't have many worse hands than that. Right? It would be nice to have a club in your hand when you're running a bluff like this. But uh, I decided to bet 5,500, he calls. River's a nine, he checks. I bet his last 10K that he had. And he called and he had the 10, eight of clubs. So he turned the flush. And then on the last one, I deuces against ace 10. Three bet the guy, he flopped an ace. And then we got in with the fives. So I'm gonna take a little minute here to chill, do the hockey stuff that I couldn't do at home because my laptop, which by the way, Christian went home, clicked on the laptop, did some, unplugged it, plugged it back in and it works fine now. So that thing's got freaking. what is all this shit here? That thing's got, uh, I don't know. What do, you, what, is the, what do you want to say? Would it lasts a long time? The thing's got stability. I don't know. It's got sturdy. It's strong. It's tough. I don't know. Kids got alligator blood. Can't get rid of him. So we're going to chill for a minute, do the scores, and then we'll jump into the PLO 6 Max. PLO 6 Max, which is really the event that we came here to play in the first place. <laughs> All right, people, so we're gonna mark this down as a win. I know it's a small win, but it's a win. We were gonna jump in to this next tournament at around 7.30. And at 7.30, I was like, you know what? Not quite ready. Not quite ready, I don't know. Just a little, get the cobwebs out after a little nap. So now it is about 10 after eight. Feel good, not so worried. Cause like often what I think about is like I wanna come in right after the break, you know, whatever, like if it's level four, or level six. So now we'll be coming in the middle of level five-ish, something like that. So plenty of play, like to be honest with you, like, you know, I think a lot about the structures and there's always the discussions about what's good, what's bad. And, you know, everyone has a different opinion, but I would say that for me personally, again, and it's not just about me, that there's way too much play early in a lot of these things. And that allows, that really just kind of allows with the blinds being low and stacks being high, allows people to just enter, you know, six eight ten hours late and like really not be giving up a lot right still always better to show up on time right but if the limits were higher on time and just progressively went higher and then maybe slowed down later that would just apply maximum pressure on those guys so like they would have they would have more incentive to show up on time put it that way anyway it's a discussion i think about a lot I think about it in terms of everybody has different interests you know you have the weekend warrior who just wants to come and play a tournament they don't want to be out in 10 minutes right so i think uh I think you should tailor it to the buy-in. I think the smaller buy-ins, you know, leave them kind of as is where you have a lot of play early, but the higher buy-ins, I think for the majority of players, for example, almost every one of the tournaments, you could start at level four, just play that for four levels instead of level one, two, three, four, level four for four hours or stuff like that or things like that. Anyway, we're gonna play PLO six max. I enjoy it. It's always nice to have room at the table. I 
10 handed is brutal. That's what the nine, that's what the bounty thing was. And 10 handed is just not fun. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. I feel pretty good. So let's go. All right, all in on the short stack. He's got a draw. I've got the old jacks up, of course. He has very few outs, not many at all. That's not one of them. That's clubs for me. And he wins, right? Jacks and nines. Yeah. Jacks and nines. Yep. I was kidding about you not having any outs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I, <laughs> bullet one played precisely three hands, and I'll tell you all three, since why not? The first hand, uh, a guy raises to 2K. I make it 69 with aces. Ace, ace, queen, nine. And then a guy behind calls, just calls. They both call. The flop is king, king, three. Check to me, I bet 6,000. First guy called, got second guy, check raise is big. They both have a king, okay. So I fold, right? Then goes raise, call, call. I'm in the big blind with ace, king, queen, five, double suited. Off of about 21, 22K. So I pot it, two calls. One guy drops, comes seven, seven, six. Uh, two hearts and a spade. I have clubs and diamonds. So I check fold, leaving myself with 10. And then you saw the last hand, small blind against big blind, flop jacks and threes, turn the club draw. He flopped the big hand as well. And that's it. PLO, PLO can go like that. So on to bullet two, I'm gonna sign up and jump right back in. Now, in the second half of whatever the hell you guys call this game, let's put on our leg warmers and let's dance our asses. All right, so I have a little trick I wanna share with you all, okay? If you ever find yourself at a table with an Austrian and an Austrian, right? literally do this every time just say oh you're german right and say no and they say it's the same just say this just say it's the same thing german austrian say it's just the same thing they will lose their fucking they hate it right he's still tilted and it was about 20 minutes ago <laughs> he can't even play now he just he's, he's completely lost they're both looking to punt because all i said was same thing ha, it works watch tilted. <laughs> All right, people, last break of the night. I got about 45,000 on this bullet. Um, had a little more and I lost this cute little hand. Cute little hand I lost. Uh, I limped, I do a lot of limping in, in six max. I think it really screws people up. And I got a couple of the Austrians who are making very small sizing raises wise. And I really like that, it's good for me. So uh, this hand was, it was just, it's just cute. I limped with queen, queen, jack six with a suit in the one hole. Was like limped behind the small blind limp the big blind we limped for 1200 the big blind went all in for pot and she only had 6400 so it's not a lot now we don't have a very good hand with queen queen jack six right but nobody behind me is ever gonna have aces or kings so if i'm gonna play the hand this piece of cheese i might as well just get it heads up so i re-raised pot and she obviously was all in so my hand as i said was queen queen jack six her hand was queen Jack, Jack, eight. So I have her mashed. First card we see is a queen right on the flop. And it comes with a 10 and a nine. So she has the Jack eight straight and the board doesn't pair. So she won that, but at least it was small. Um, yeah, the main event just wrapped up. Congratulations, Corey. Gotta love it. I've been perusing the Twitter a little bit. Geraldo's came up with an idea because a lot of people in the, you know, I've been reading the tweets and a lot of people you know, they love or hate, you know, different broadcasts. And I think like it's 2021, why don't we just offer multiple? I remember when we used to do those for EPTs, we did it in 15 different languages, right? So I think we could do that, why not? People that like, you know, like one, they watch that. People that like the other, like watch that. Isn't everybody happy if we do that? I'm gonna push for that. I think that's an idea. Let's give everybody what they want, why not, right? I mean, what, it doesn't even cost anything. Well, except for like, you know, paying the people, but it's not like, difficult to do it's the same feed all right so i have a really ugly hand but i'm definitely putting it in i have one bet left or whatever i have a pair of kings uh, good. okay and you have a pair of queens okay so you need a queen and i have one or straight. go straight, straight not queen could be cool nope all right double me up Okay, poker's fun. That's his hand. Congratulations to you, tens and fives. That's my hand. <laughs> All right. Welcome that's to the, the vlog. board. All right, how much do I owe you? How much do I owe you? Forty-nine well, five, I think. Well, I'm happy to pay you. Forty-nine five. So this was all in pre-flop. That against that, and then that's a 
Ha ha! He poked oh, the fire. Good turn with saucy. <laughs> I mean, ten, <laughs> they opened it. I had a royal draw. That's it's right. It's like neither of you <laughs> really wanted that turn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stupid ass game. Fuck it. Shit. Earmuffs. They can say fuck, shit, bitch, whatever you want. All right, we're all in. Short. He just has Throw the kings. The I have a king. I got red cards. Those aren't all okay. Right. Little, oh, there's low ones. Oh, that's me, right? Yes, I have a straight. Yes, yeah, you're yes, dead. Yes. Ten, Kings never ten, win. Oh, wait, eight, you're not. Oh, as soon as nine, I said you're dead, eight, eight. I forgot about that. Uh, okay, wow. back in action. Not punished for saying <laughs> you're dead. No. All right, we're going to finish the vlog from here. Last hand. So this is what we're sitting. This is a little bit of the nightmare situation. So we're going to bag up about 10 big blinds for tomorrow. And tomorrow is the $250,000 no limit hold'em as well. So like I said, I would, nightmare situation you'd rather bust or whatever come in late but you know here we are so uh one interesting one i showed you a minute ago was uh my kings my beautiful kings right king king jack seven double suited against king king ten five with one suit it looks so pretty it looks like i'm supposed to be a huge favorite but this is what plo is plo is in that game i was 55 percent 54 and a half percent free against his hand then on the flop about the same and then on the turn it's a total coin flip 51 49 because i have and i could catch an ace queen jack nine five i mean club oh, all the things but i didn't otherwise i would have had about 150,000. now we got 30 which is going to be about 10 bigs tomorrow and uh oh, we'll be down here for 2 p.m which is great, kind of good, because then I can sort of eye out who's here for the 250K and decide, you know, when we want to jump in that. But, uh, yeah, another day in the life, y'all. This is not ideal, but at least we didn't punt it. See ya.